If you've ever wondered how <coughs> that uh, your old game consoles turn yellow, some guys have figured it out. Unfortunately, it's not just a color, it's not like a, something on the surface that you can just rub off. It's actually a chemical reaction in the plastic. And the reason for this is, uh, this is all according to the internet, so I didn't figure any of this out. Bromine was added to the ABS plastic uh, as a fire retardant, and that reacted, I believe, with UV light um, and caused the yellowing effect over time. Fortunately for us, it is actually a reversible chemical reaction, um, and today we will be doing that. We will be hopefully reversing it. I have done this before already on here, but I used a 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. Just, that's just the stuff that you can get at, you know, the grocery store or whatever, used for, uh, like, putting on cuts and stuff like that, uh, as, you know, an anti antiseptic or whatever. And that's about as far as I got. That was actually two, two good treatments and one dumb, crappy treatment that got me that far. But if you compare this to a regular, a, a properly colored Nintendo, it's still not even close. It might look, it might look close, at least in the video, but it's not. Uh, I don't know if I have a, anything similar colored. Well, if you look at this, this is a very neutral gray, and it is completely different. The, the Super Nintendo is kind of this sort of shade, but a lot brighter. So I've got kind of a long ways to go. Luckily, it's uh, supposedly, if I do this right, um, I can do this in one treatment, and it will get rid of basically all of my color. Um, what you're going to need to get is hydrogen peroxide, but not just any hydrogen peroxide, but a very high percent. Um, you can't just go to the drugstore, well, maybe the drugstore, I'm not sure. You can't go to the supermarket and buy 6% or th even 12% uh, hydrogen peroxide solution. You can basically only get the 3%. Um, you can get 6% as like hair bleach, I think is what they kind of sell it as sometimes. Um, so you might check um, salons and places like that. Um, also, this, the stuff that I picked up is actual food grade because there's some big movement in putting hydrogen peroxide in your food. Some small amount. It's supposed to kill cancer and, you know, all that fun stuff that everything does. This is 12%. It cost me about 10 bucks for the bottle on Amazon, which is quite a bit of money. But I really wanted to try this out. And if it works, then uh, it's fucking awesome, basically. Um, so, basically your ingredients are the hydrogen peroxide, 6 to 12 percent at minimum. You can also get 30 percent, but I'd be really careful with that. Um, 30 percent is basically always food grade, is what it's labeled as, as far as I know. You're going to need a thickening agent. In my case, I have cornstarch, because I could not find uh, xanthan gum is one of them. Arrowroot is another one. Um, if you you know, if you put cornstarch and water together, you get this kind of thick stuff. That's kind of the consistency type thing we're going to look for. Um, and you're also going to need, oddly enough, OxyClean, or an oxygen bleach. It's not a bleach. Um, oxygen detergent, even though it's not a detergent. That's kind of the best way to describe it. OxyClean is the, the big brand name one. This was like a dollar, and this was like a dollar. And I'm not even going to use hardly any of that. But... Anyway, the ingredients put together, you know, you're going to want to put, you're going to want to get a measuring cup, which I did not get, uh, but you're going to need a half pint of this. I'm just going to estimate it. That's probably pretty darn close. Let's see here. Yeah, that's about a half pint. This is 16 ounces, which I believe is a pint, so this half of that's half pint. Um, 
and two, quote, heaping spoonfuls of your thickening agent, in my case, cornstarch. That wasn't a very good one at all, so I'm going to get quite a bit. This is more like three, but that first one sucked. Of course, I'm getting it all over the place. And you're going to want to mix this up pretty good, which is going to take a while, especially with cornstarch, because it's going to clump up a lot. Um, but you're going to mix it up, and at least with cornstarch, and I believe arrowroot as well, um, you're going to need to microwave it a little bit. It should be perfectly safe to do that. Um, just put it in there for 30, 40 seconds. Hopefully, by the time you get it out, it'll actually grow in volume and also be kind of a jelly at that point. But do not add this yet. If you add the oxygen cleaner stuff too early, um, it will foam up and be really difficult to work with, in my experience. So we're going to get this good and mixed, and then I'm going to go up and microwave it. Like I said, just a short amount of time, maybe maybe 40 seconds. It might take a minute. Um, it's going to be relatively warm when it comes out, basically. Uh, but really, I guess just microwave it until it's thickened up. And like I said, that's for cornstarch, and I believe arrowroot might need that as well. So let me go do that and get this mixed up good. And uh, then we will finally add our oxygen releasing detergent cleaner stuff and then we will basically just slather it on here and that will be the next step okay back again um, I had to add a little bit more cornstarch to my mixture here so it's a little bit lumpy which kinda sucks normally it would just be a perfect clear well not clear but uh, kind of slightly opaque just soothy little mixture. But mine's got those lumps in it. Um, so hopefully... I think my problem is I used a too small of a spoon. This is like a, a regular, like a, I don't know, the slightly smaller kitchen table spoon um, as opposed to the larger one. I don't know if this is a soup spoon or whatever the hell it's called. But anyway, um, next step is to add I think it's a teaspoon of the oxygen cleaner. Again, I'm just going to estimate here. Probably about that much. <laughs> and mix that in. And this is going to start reacting pretty fast as far as I know. It's also going to be kind of difficult to mix in. It might start foaming up. I don't remember. I haven't done this in a couple weeks. I wasn't really paying attention last time at least. But it's, it's actually used as a catalyst for the uh, reaction, as far as I know. Uh, but yeah, the reason why we're using the thickening agent, just for the record, is because uh, we're actually going to paint this on there, basically. Um, you could basically use the hydrogen peroxide with the uh, OxyClean by itself. Um, but obviously that's not going to stick very long. It's going to run off of your case or whatever. So if you've got really small parts, like let's say uh, action figures, I've seen people do action figures all the time, make the solution of the hydrogen peroxide and the oxygen cleaner. Move this in there. And uh, just put the put your figures in it or whatever your little parts and then just set that in the sun or in the light which we'll get to next and that'll do a great job on its own you probably can't see this very well but if you could see up close this is actually starting to kind of foam it's a little weird it's got bubbles in it throughout the mixture which is probably that thing doing its job Oxygen cleaner, you know. But that's probably good enough for that. I've got this in a tub so I don't make a mess. <laughs> and uh, you might want to wear gloves. Um, hydrogen peroxide isn't... It isn't super nasty stuff, but it's not really 
that water. Definitely, it's 